Seal Tail, the name that means topmost quality. In ice cream, milk, and other dairy products, present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. May I have a cord and tea, please? I think because of the seriousness of the work which we are going to present, I'd rather have it in G minor. All right, one more, please. Good evening, television friends and friends of television everywhere. We are more than happy to be here with you tonight. Uh, we are always happy to be here with, with you on every night, but tonight we are especially happy because the Kuklapolitan Opera House is going to present uh, for the third consecutive year, or the second, well, third consecutive year, I do believe, yes, it is, uh, a very wonderful uh, a pageant which we uh, 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 are very glad to be able to present to you in honor of a very significant occasion, and that is of Christopher Columbus uh, cro uh, crossing the Atlantic Ocean to reach and discover America. <clears throat> of course, in our history books uh, uh, today, we know that actually the continent of America had uh, been discovered uh, many years ago by a different, uh, uh, I beg your pardon? <laughs> well, it has been. Well, you don't read very widely. You're not in the pageant today, so I suggest you keep your two cents worth out. Well, I'm a plain man. I speak plainly. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Crouch. <laughs> some of our theatrical friends are here today to uh, watch us because they are getting some points for some of the work which we are doing. <laughs> and I understand that uh, there are several friends of ours from Come Back Little Sheba that are here tonight. I don't believe Miss Booth is here. However, I wish she were because uh, I certainly would like her to watch some of the dramatic things that are going on. I don't care. I'll get on with it when I please. As I was saying, the Vikings cross. The Vikings. Well, they weren't called the Swedes then. Besides, they weren't just Swedes. They were Danish and they were Swedish and they were Norwegian. And Well, they don't all come from the... They do not come from the same place. Ask any Swede. <laughs> the Vikings across uh, the Atlantic Ocean, of course, many centuries earlier, I understand. And I do understand it. I read it. Well, I'm not going to get into an argument here with you right now. I can tell you that. We'll debate it later. Well, I have no proof except that... I, well, prominent historic... I do declare I'm going to lose my pretty ways one day. I'm going to give her a good clump. <clears throat> However, Christopher Columbus... Uh, is well known in history, and we always here at the Cucapolitan Playhouse like to uh, present uh, the pageant of Christopher Columbus crossing uh, the Delaware, oh, uh, the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> uh, as you know, tomorrow marks our third birthday on the year, the beginning of our fourth year here. And uh, so this is an especially auspicious occasion. <clears throat> now, I have an announcement to make to our friends in Indianapolis. Uh, we're very sorry that we could not be down there with you today. Uh, there's a very fine exposition down there, International Dairy Exposition, and we certainly would like to be down there. Indeed, I know many of our friends from National Dairy must be there, and a lot of our, certainly, they must all be down there eating seal test ice cream, I'm quite sure. But we just couldn't make it because it was a rather difficult for us to leave in the middle of the week, on a, especially with this great pageant. We're very sorry, but we hope to get down to see you again sometime. Well. Oh, it's you. Different person. <laughs> well, do up your hair and get out of the way. <clears throat> Usually, we present the Columbus Day pageant as a pageant with tableaus and revolving stages and dimly lighted halls and that sort of thing. But today, we are going to do it uh, more or less as an opera. We long have been uh, uh, advocates of opera in English. And we are very, very uh, uh, proud of our fine composer in New York, Mr. Minotti, who does such grand and wonderful things, glorious things with music and words. And so we are going to attempt to do our uh, pageant today in English 
and with uh, English subtitles and with English music. <laughs> I, uh, I trust you will enjoy it. I believe that, uh, and I hope that you'll all join us at intermission time in the green room where our stars come out and mingle with uh, everyone. And they, uh, we have some very delicious uh, surprises for you. We serve seal test ice cream at intermission time, so I hope you'll be there with us in the green room. Pardon me? Well, who painted it? <laughs> the blue room. <laughs> Mr. Fascinato, I hope that you uh, have your uh, fingers uh, all limbered up. All limbered up. And uh, you're all ready? Knuckles cracked. Knuckles are cracked. Yeah. I'm glad you did it when I couldn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the piano's in tune. We all ready? Should we have a, Do you have an overture? We'll try one here. Well, just play anything that comes to your mind. We didn't have very good uh, rehearsal on this. <coughs> city of Spain in the year 14... <laughs> I wasn't sure of that date, so I mumbled it. We find a young man there by the name of Americus Vespucius. He is going to London to see the Queen. No, he's going, but he's going to see the Queen, I believe. Curtain, please. Oh, gracious sakes, I wonder how long it will take for me to get an audience with the king and the queen, the king and the queen. The trouble with this kind of opera is that you make it up as you go along. <laughs> and it's rather difficult. <clears throat> I wonder how long it will take for me to get an audience with the king and the queen. They say the queen is very lovely, and the king very ugly. <laughs> but who cares? Who cares? As long as I can get an audience with the king. Eh. <laughs> Chris. I am waiting for an audience with the king and the queen. I too would see the king. I too would see the queen. But how come? How come you here also? That wasn't very good cadence. Never mind. <laughs> how come? I thought you were late from Genoa. It, oi. <laughs> I was, but only recently have I come to Spain. <laughs> What's my job? <laughs> well, tell me, Chris. Tell me, what, what is your reason for coming to Spain? I have a theory. I have set these words to music from a dear old Italian song. I have a theory I would expose. I do believe the earth is round. But till I prove it so, who will believe? Who Of the expenses 
it would take for just one shift. Yes, I have. Oh, yes, I have. And I believe that I'll need three. But alas, I have no money. Things are tough. Don't look at me. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Columbus, oh, Columbus, to Her Majesty you go. It is rumored she has jewelry. So I hear she's short on dough. Good luck, Chris. Go to the palace, and I will see you there. Farewell. Adieu. Hello. The budget is very low in Spain at this time. And the palace treasury has hit rock bottom. <laughs> and so closes act one of our Wonderful little opera. And now we invite you into the blue room. It's been painted again. <laughs> Green room. Mm. Brown room. The yellow room. <clears throat> we invite you into the yellow room where our lovely uh, stars and some of our lovely hostesses are ready to serve you some delicious seal test ice cream. I do believe we have a young lady. Well, my dear, you're already, I see. Won't you step in, my sweet dear? Anyone for ice cream? Well, uh, certainly. I see you brought your little servant. Yes, too, I my did. Dear. Well, May I serve you? Yes, indeed. How, how did you think the first act went, my dear? I thought exceptionally well. I, I thought it went exceptionally well, too. Good. Oh, my dear. I see you have some delightful, delicious seal test. In the half-gallon carton. Why, naturally. What else but the half-gallon carton? Shall I open it? Why, my dear, if you like, are you going to serve it? I am. <laughs> delightful. I love the half-gallon carton. So convenient. So easy to open. Did you know I was a bass baritone? I hadn't really suspected it. I had no now. I just discovered it. Oh, how I love seal test ice cream. I'm sure you do. Will you have it plain today? I believe so. It's so creamy and smooth and packed, packed with flavor. So fine grained in texture, so full bodied in flavor. My dear, I'm very glad that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Are you really? You know why? Why? Because otherwise, why, well, we might not have had seal test ice cream. And everyone knows that seal test ice cream is America's, America's favorite, favorite ice, ice cream. cream. Oh, my dear, you did that beautiful. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think this is the best part of the show. Do you really? Oh, look at that seal test. Indeed. You know, I do, I do enjoy Good vanilla seal test plain like that. You know, it's just wonderful just like it is. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's also very wonderful with, uh, well, like a chocolate sauce. Oh, yeah. And then strawberries. I like uh, I like fresh strawberries on it. Any kind of fresh fruit is nice. Yeah. Or sometimes like, a, uh, I know, uh, my mother back home used to put up, uh, she'd preserve strawberries. Oh, yeah, strawberry and jam. That, that's very good. Red, red raspberry jam. Oh, Wouldn't my it? dear. It's just like a, a very fancy Sunday when you put it on the... Uh, on seal test ice cream. Mm -hmm. I do believe that certainly looks like the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, maybe you'd join me in the yellow room. Well, yes, my dear, but aren't you in the next act? Oh, is it the next act I'm in? I believe so. Oh, I'd... well, if you'll excuse me, I'd better go and get ready. You bet. And don't forget, my dear, put that half gallon carton of seal test ice cream back in the freezer because it's so convenient and will fit in there so nicely. Uh, oh. <clears throat> well, let's get down to earth, shall we? Good. Uh, my dear, <coughs> oh, no, oh, you're Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, sir. You still there? Still here. Well, grand. I wish I weren't. Well, <coughs> uh, the second act of our little opera takes place in the court, uh, in the court, I believe. Yes, in the courtroom of, uh, of, uh, 
King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. Uh, the king and the queen, I don't believe, have arrived as yet. Are you ready? Yes, my you dear? Pretty, uh, almost. Just about, my dear, uh-huh. Well, let's open the curtains, and we could have a slight fanfare, shall we? And uh, maybe the page boy will come up and uh, announce uh, the uh, king and the queen. <coughs> Yes, terrible. 
Any one of you is handsome. Come on! Yes, you did so, too. You want to do two different parts. Well, uh, I'm not going to do two different parts now. Well, you've already done them. Let's get on with the... We are oh. without singing. We forgot the look. Oh, I forgot the thing. Oh, sing. Oh, sing. I recognize me. you from somewhere before. Oh, no, you have never seen this. I'm an Indian, and she is... No, he isn't. I am Isabella. We have business all over now. It's much better over here. Oh, why did you give us away, Is? Because he's bound to see it. It's a nice the concession at the town meeting anyway. I suppose. But you're very happy over here in this so country. So happy. Well, you'll excuse me. I have to go back to my Chilton Carney stand. Goodbye. Oh, Is, this is so wonderful. Yes. And we will be happy together. Shall we sing the finale? Let's sing the finale. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Is. That takes me off the hook. Wait and see. We'll be in history books. We made a date. Let's not be late. They'll all remember you. That you. Twenty-three schedule. Oh, happy forty-nine-two. Wait for me. We are, but get in here quickly. Oh, this is silly. How do you know that anybody's clapping? Well, you started it. Well, it's always, it's always just a good uh, common sense to take a bow after the, uh, after the finale. Well, to take them all together at first, and then you drop out one by one. You losing your beads. I know it. They came off. They did? Thanks, the hard. I know. <coughs> Tommy didn't want me to wear them anyway. I thought that was a pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good little uh, rendition, didn't you? I thought that was real fine. I liked that better than last year's pageant. Even. You do? Yeah. I thought it was real fine. I think we should give a little more thought to these things. Fine things, because I'm queen and I have money. No, that's why you're a queen. I'm playing the queen. Well, it no, you are. It's want all to play over. It. What? It's all over. But the shouting, yee <laughs> hee! Well, you look at a telegram. I'd like to sing just a little more. You got a telegram? Tell me about it tomorrow. Okay, gonna... you gonna sing? Get the best, get the field test. <laughs> get, get the best, get the field test. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried a seal test ice cream chocolate eclair? It's heavenly eating. Mellow chocolate fudge. Seal test vanilla ice cream. Smooth and creamy, frosted with dark, rich chocolate. And star studded with real whipped cream. A flavor symphony that calls for encores. Order seal test ice cream chocolate eclairs from your seal test dealer. America's favorite, ice cream. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fashionato. The producer is Viola Zachary, and the director, Louis Gomovitz. And this is Leif Erickson Tilstrom thanking you on behalf of America's Vespucius and the entire troupe. Good night. <laughs> Kukla, Fran, and Ollie are brought to you from Chicago by divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of fine seal test products. NBC Television.